three, two, one. With another footy talk, bro. It looks like Louis in hell, blood. You just sound. Wait, you just wait, wait, like... hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ask me where I am. Just ask me. Yeah, where are you, bro? I'm at the gates of hell because that's what we've got to go through before things get better. Come on! Lovely, 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 bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. Up. You man just signed Joao Felix, bro. One of the most exciting young players, yeah, in world football, bro. You mean there was one of the most exciting players about four years ago when he moved for 150 million and hasn't done much since? I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. I, I think you're going to be excited. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to turn this off because this green screen is going to piss me off. But I, 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 I don't know why we're doing it. I, I, I get there's a certain quality. <laughs> Man said, I don't know why we're doing it, you know. I, well, know I thought you were going to be excited. A man just come in and completely ruin my show. You know what I was doing? Man was just it. like, I don't know why we're doing it. I don't. Well, we, see, we've, got, we've already got a player in that profile in Kai Havertz, and it's not working. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go sign another player in the same profile to, to not work. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to piece respect, everything yeah, together here. To it, it, Felix, let's not do this, is it? Like with the Kai Havertz thing, because he can't be as bad as Kai Havertz. Yeah, but then again, Kai Havertz was supposed to be one of the best young players that he was. Honestly, you're right. Which, apparently, apparently, we're signing him. Um, apparently, we're going for Marcus. And that's only going to be fifteen odd million. So, thumbs up for that if that's the case. What, no risk going for Cheram in it? Yeah. But uh, do you know who I want? I want Medi Taremi. I think he's a great player. I really like Medi Taremi. Well, really I, I, I think. I, I, yeah, listen, you know how left field I can be. And I'm, well, by the way, I'm just going to say it to everybody before they say anything, right? Just so we know, if you have been watching this channel for long enough, you will remember the situation we're in, I said would happen in July. I'm basically not Nosferatu, that's Dracula. Who's the geezer who can, who told the future? Nostradamus? I don't know where it's... That's who it is, blood. Do you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm basically a it's fat me, bro. It's Manstradamus, bruv. That's what it is. <laughs> like, look at bruv, look at this, bro. I told you pussies this was gonna happen, bro. Mm. Mm. If he ends up at Chelsea, it's a mad thing. But you know what it is Chelsea are willing to pay the money. I wouldn't be like I said in Bant Sports News, don't be surprised if you wake up to Chelsea or in talks with Joel Felix, blood. Oh, yeah, because they've got fucking Obamian. See what I'm I, saying, bro? That, that, that I was talking about how shit we are, and that was last uh, week, blood. <laughs> you know, was, I, brother, I told Matt, I uh, knew this was happening when I saw a picture of him in a Chelsea shirt, bro. I was like, there it is. This, 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 this is gonna end in tears. I can just feel it. I ev everything that's got that ha that's happening at the minute. I'm just going, why? Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the only good news I've seen over the past 24 hours is that Todd Bowley's not managing transfers anymore. He stepped away. I'm like, thank mm -hmm. fuck for that. It only took you six months. What the mm -hmm. fuck? I'm looking, it's like the, 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 the oh, he's just, why are you giving people baseball contracts? It's like, yeah. yeah, man, I did. I was so good in baseball. Look what I did with the LA Dodgers, man. This isn't fucking baseball. Right? There is football outside the US. Tom Brady's the best player that ever exists. Have you ever heard of fucking Roger Federer? You know, they're fucking anybody. This is a fucking mm. joke. Oh, I just, I just, I just, just, I just want to be in charge of transfers. Can someone just put me in charge, please? Just, just give me something to do. I, just, I, I, just, I have time on my hands. Just give me something to do. This is a fucking joke. The whole so... situation. Oh. So what's happening? Is Mason Mount getting that three hundred k then? What's going how, on? How yeah, fucking like, the, the chat want to know? This is this is this has been five minutes. Can we? Can we it's, <laughs> look, hey, bro, I, I, hope he, I hope he doesn't. One, yeah. Two, he, uh, uh, he's not playing well at the minute. Three, I don't think that he's worth three hundred grand a week. Mm. Sure, I think Kante is on just a little bit more, and I think you know Kante is Kante. It's you know they're literally just like streets apart in terms of quality overall mason mount has his qualities but his qualities aren't on the right wing mason mount is he's look he's he's not someone who's going to give you the final ball he's not someone who's going to score yeah. you a lot of goals but he's a great water carrier he's someone if you want to get yeah. a ball up the pitch fair enough that's what he's good at but he's not oh. a number 10 he's not creative enough so we're lacking there apparently i, thought, Felix, you, I, I thought you were going to say if you needed someone to throw someone a bottle of water from the bench bro but 
when <laughs> bro, I swear it down. Oh no, no, right, right, I right now. Man, run over to the touchline. Mace just throws the Lucas A bottle over. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, we are, we, we, I mean, but, but bottom line is we're, we're a bit fucked at the minute. So, you yeah. know, it, 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 it is what it is. Sense. And I, 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 there is so much work that needs to be done. I feel like mm. the best, the best example of what I'm looking at in terms of what needs to be done and how to do it is probably Arsenal. I feel like everyone's talking about, like, well, I, I think if you look at projects, City and Newcastle started from zero, basically. So they went from yeah. zero and they pushed on. They didn't have, they didn't have a benchmark. Their benchmark was we're shit. Now we're going to their benchmarks are now going to be going for certain levels. Liverpool obviously weren't great, but they had they're they're okay, and then they've developed. They developed on the well. They had Rogers do like the basic little foundation bit, which wasn't strong, but it was all right. And then Klopp came in, which is what I think Chelsea are. I think there's this, there's a, there's a whole project. I feel like Potter might be that Brendan Rogers phase. Um, I think the position we're in is like Arsenal. Were. I we are. There's so much work that needs to be done internally as well as externally before we even see the rewards. I mean, you look at people can say, look at these coaches that won trophies, which is, I guess, semi valid, but they all said the same thing. Jose said it, Conte said it, Lampard said it, Sari said it, um, Tuchel said it. You know, the players down tools as an issue of player power. We don't have an identity. We need to build a different squad. We need to do this. We need to do that. And that's going to take time. So, like I said to you in July, I said this whole process is is going to be very, very long. Like, yeah, yeah, it's really going to be a tedious long. one. So, what are you strapping yourself in for? Um, a nice barren spell at Chelsea. Yeah, I, I, I said, like, I, I said to you in July I, that we wouldn't get Europe. I said is that, that acceptable that. though. Is that acceptable? Look, I, I am not against it if there is a reason behind it. Like if you look at Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp went, we're probably not going to be doing very well for one or two years, but then we'll develop them. So they've kind of gone, okay, right, we'll strap ourselves in for that. The signings that we're making, by the looks of things, this whole process and ideology, you know, we're signing Cesare Cassedi from Inter, you've got Chukwameka, you've got this Slalina guy, we've got this um, Badashile, a lot of young players. So by the look of things, it looks like we're going, okay, well, First one or two years, we're going to have this, but this is the identity in two or three. So we need to find a way to bridge that gap. Bridging that gap is going to be... What you men are doing at Arsenal? I think that's what we're doing. Eight eight for two years and then then go on a title charge. Yeah, maybe not a title charge. But I I think for for me, I think the the biggest issue Chelsea have had, right, is that over the past 10, 15 years... No, no, maybe not 10, 15. um, I'd say since summer... 2015, our transfer strategy hasn't been the strongest. So I can genuinely look and go, the last good transfer window Chelsea had, where it was, do you know what, that was a perfect window, was that summer 2014 when we signed Fabregas and Costa, Felipe Luis. You know, we, we had we need we had three or four things that needed sort in. We went in, we did that, and then we built. Before that, Chelsea was strong because we had a core for 10, 15 years of the same players which is why we could chop and change managers because the identity was there regardless. Mm. When that core got old and was moved on, we didn't replace it. So then when we didn't replace it, we chopped and changed managers who all have different styles, who are all very different how they do things, who all want different players. And then off the back of that, we've then got this mishmash squad, which isn't in the image of anybody. So Graham Potter, whether or not someone believes he's the guy, right now is the man that Chelsea have in charge. And Todd Bowley fucked himself completely and put himself in a corner by sacking Tuchel, which he, he said, when I say he sacked him, but Tuchel also sacked himself in how he behaved when he didn't deal with certain things. He's now back to into corner by giving Potter a five-year deal, making him the most expensive manager ever and going, you're our guy. So... Guess, guess, who, Gary, guess who Graham Potter is? Who? David Moyes. And Probably. Yeah. Probably. He is. he is. And let me tell you why. It's not bad every, because everything, everything that you mentioned, yeah, from you being able to chop and change managers because you had an experienced core and all those things, that's Man United. Man yeah. United got away for years and years and years and years and years and years 
with having Scholes to the point we brought this guy back out of retirement. Scholes, Carrick, Ferdinand, Vidic, the same spine, bringing in shit players. Do you know what I mean? And getting away with it, still mm. winning trophies. And then as soon as we lost Carrick, Scholes, Vidic, Ferdinand, who do we replace Vidic and Ferdinand with? Chris Jones Smalling and, and Phil Jones. This is yeah. where the problem started to happen. Because when we had that strong spine in there, we didn't replace them with players yet of that level. We just kept waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until the cycle finished. And then what do you do? Salit Ferguson sucks the last bit of life out of that team, wins the title, retires, gives the fucking job to David Moyes with an aged squad and no fucking replacements. And this is what you have now with, with your manager. Mm, the only exactly. difference is yeah, you're willing to go out there and spend a shitload of money. However, mm. Potter's not the guy for this rebuild. He's not the, the guy. Is, who? who? Who would it and be? And Boyce wasn't the guy either because he's yeah. too small for the club. I mean, but then at the same time, we think that. But I, I mean, you couldn't go out there and like people. I was in a Twitter space yesterday and people saying, what about Luis Enrique? What about Mauricio Pochettino? I'm like, yeah, but oh, they're not oh, rebuild like, managers. Pochettino, like, maybe. Enrique, no. No, like po po Enrique, you need to hire for him. You need to bring in players for him. Pochettino is more pragmatic. Pochettino can with, do a job. With, Enrique, no. With Pochettino, I look at him and go, he, he won trophies in France. Don't get me wrong. But then he yeah. didn't win the league title with PSG in his first year. I'm there going, fucking hell, that's a bit worrying. You know, and, and also the other thing is when it came to dealing with egos and dealing with players at the very top, Pochettino wasn't that guy either. I, I, for me, look, if I was in Potter's position, right? I don't think it was an ego thing with Pochettino. The reason why Pochettino didn't um, like it at PSG is because they don't they don't allow the manager to recruit players. They recruit players for the manager. And Pochettino is someone who kind of wants to be hands-on with recruitment, similar yeah. to Ten Hag. You don't get that at PSG. You don't get that, that at Chelsea be... either. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So, and that's why if someone said here, Ten Hag would have been sick for the Chelsea rebuild. He wouldn't have been because Ten Hag wants the players he wants. Like, we're in for Veghorst right now because the manager wants him. So I completely back the signing because the manager wants him. The same way the manager wanted Malassia, not a lot of people knew about him, and he's turned out to be a good signing. Mm. We got Christian Eriksen on a free. Do you know what I mean? We got Lissandro because the manager wanted Lissandro. The manager has got exactly what he's wanted so far. If you go to Chelsea, you don't get what you want, you get what you're given. And you have to be a certain type of manager to thrive in that environment. For me, Graham Potter doesn't have the temperament. He doesn't have the CV to command the respect from the players that are coming in and that are there. You know what I mean? And he's not pragmatic. He's got a philosophy, but he hasn't won anything with the philosophy. So why should I listen to you? 